Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you were new here, this is softlife.com and welcome. So this is going to be a really quick video where I show you how to pose professionally for headshots. So this kind of images are mostly used for professional platforms like LinkedIn and if you're trying to create a corporate profile or a business profile. So stay tuned. So first of all, you should not have selfies on your LinkedIn profile. You should not have selfies on your CV or whatever corporate document that requires your image. So here in this video, I'm just going to be taking you through a few tips on how to pose professionally for headshots. I am going to be using photo illustrations to explain these tips to you for better understanding. I was supposed to use myself as the model for the headshot poses for this video, but unfortunately, I could not get that done at the time. First posing tip is to use the standard. This is the a little bit of 45 degree angle kind of pose, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So depending on the kind of photo you're trying to take, it is not always a good idea to face the camera flat faced on. So you can actually face a camera, but your body is angled away from the camera. The idea is never face the camera fully. So utilize the 45 degree angle pose for your professional shots. Number two is you can do something with your hands like cross them. Mostly you appear more powerful when you cross your arms for your professional pose. I am going to put into work the first tip and the second tip together and show you what it looks like turn away from the this is almost 45 degree angle this is the camera and for my nose the next tip is to lean forward now i'm just going to incorporate the first tip second tip and the third tip and show you what it looks like Now, the next tip is get busy with your hands. Fiddle something, your glasses, your cufflinks, your button. Just play with your hands and get them busy for the picture to appear more natural. So for the purpose of this tip, I have decided to put on my glasses, even though I've got my contact lenses on, but just to show you guys what fiddling your glasses or prop looks like. So I could be standing straight on, folding my arms halfway and touching my glasses. If you're wearing a shirt that has cufflinks, you can also fiddle your cufflinks. Next tip is to lean on a wall or a support. So this also gives in a different kind of perspective to the image and this is what it looks like to lean on a wall or to lean on a support. The next tip is to explore. Explore the sitting position, explore the standing position, whatever gets you comfortable, you can explore that. So make sure you're comfortable with your photographer or whoever it is that is in the studio at the time so that you can be your best natural self and really comfortable to give out the poses as best as you can. So this is one of my favorite tips is to stay candid. Be as natural as possible. If you want to smile, smile. If you want to laugh, laugh. And I have forgotten to take off the glasses. Oops. So if you want to laugh, you laugh. If you want to smile, you smile. So they usually come out really nice. So let me apply some of these tips, including this last one that I have mentioned and see what it looks like. So I'm going to be folding my arms halfway and laughing. So guys, and then the next tip is never to face the camera head on or flat face on. I already mentioned this one earlier on, but it's not bad that I emphasize on it once again. So don't do that. Don't do that. So never face the camera flat face on. Your body can face, but your head can slightly turn away. Your body can turn away, your head can come back to it. So it's all about the technicalities and the composition. So whatever you do, never face the camera flat face. 
Jesus guys I'm recording and the music is loud so the last tip hey so guys the last tip is use your eyes the eyes are the windows to the soul so always use your eyes you would be amazed at the kind of information you can pass through or the expressions that you can pass through with your eyes so use your eyes for your photos your eyes can reflect if you're sad if you're happy if you're confident and or if you're timid so always engage your eyes to get better professional head shots so guys i hope you found these tips helpful and i hope you're able to apply them for your next professional head shot most especially for your linkedin account or any other professional platform that you would like to have your photos on so if you enjoyed this video and you found this video useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tips and more videos and don't forget to share with your friends Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.